We've reported in the past about the struggles on 911 call centers in terms of staffing as well as call volumes. Now, one quarter into the new year, emergency responders say progress has been made. A lot of progress was made in emergency communications. Um, just a quick shout out to what they're doing over there. They hired uh, a lot of people in a short amount of time which is extremely helpful, but it was pretty labor intensive on their training staff. On top of that, response times are improving down to about 11 and a half seconds, nearly 10% faster than in January, but still around 10% less than the city's goal. Still, that's an improvement for the city, which struggled last year. Numbers we obtained from the city show that only three quarters of calls were answered in 15 seconds or less last year. So far this year, that's already up to nearly 93%. Just as much as those officers are responding, the dispatchers are on the other end having to manage that call and a myriad of other different things. So it's an extremely stressful environment. And when you don't take care of people is when people don't want to be here. People don't want to come to the profession. But that's not the end of the story. Last month, the city released a report on the high demand on Austin's 911 call center. It found that Austin had a higher average of 911 calls per call taker than other similar cities like Portland or other Texas cities like Fort Worth, San Antonio, Dallas, or Houston. It also found that Austin's 911 call taking process is the same regardless of call volume. Vanessa Fuentes is one of the city council members who originally requested the report. We currently don't have a definition or criteria for a high volume, and so there no policies or procedures in place on what to do when you have a ton of 911 calls coming in all at one time. And those high volume numbers did come last year. Despite not having a threshold for a high volume day, there is an average for 911 calls a day. And for much of 2023, from February to September, that call volume was above average and some days very much above average. Though early signs show Austin's emergency response improving this year, the report says there's still progress to be made. In Austin, Michael Atkinson, CBS Austin News. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.